We've been working with Prudential for, I guess, a year now. And, you know, when we were sat down with the client, we were talked about what it was that, that, that we wanted to do with them, you know, which was tackle the big challenges, you know, in society and, and to deal with it in a macro level where we're, we're not dealing with the, the, fake, the, the fake kind of facades, but we're dealing with the big issues that is facing all of us. Move on might be a good word to exchange for change, you know, it's always moving on. We, so we got 200 people, 250 people around the country to send us photos of their first day of retirement. It's kind of hard to make decisions by yourself all of a sudden when you've been making them with somebody else for 35 years. We were fortunate enough to have the client that, that saw the value of you know, the photo part of this project where we go find all these photos and we put them online, we had a commercial about that but also it kind of gave us the leverage to say, that's cool, but these people that we're getting these photos from, they're so interesting, we need to go farther. But the challenge is in the digital age of where we live in, where people can skip things and fast forward things and, and just be bored and have a short attention spans, is how you, how you get them to stop and spend time with them. And for us, the most key approach was just to be honest. I had a wonderful, wonderful happy marriage and I was well loved and so many people don't have that. If you really have a, a, a story that's told really directly and simply and you get to know somebody, it's kind of hard to hit stop, you know? It's kind of hard to turn away from that story if you really start to, if you start to like them, you know? And with Linda, I mean, you, you so early on, just by the timbre of her, of her voice and the way she has a kind of a optimism and, and a frailty at the same time. Good morning, buddy. What's up there? Tom didn't leave very much, but he left me a little money. I bought Deacon with the last of the money. He doesn't talk back, but he looks at me like he understands. I get choked up thinking about moments of Linda, but I, I hope it's an optimistic story in the end, you know, and I hope people are left at the end of that with feeling that she's gonna, she's gonna get by and she's gonna be okay, and I have no doubt about that. I mean, it was infectious, you know, her optimism. Day one. First day of my retirement. First day I've never had to answer to anybody for anything, <laughs> except Deacon. After that day, she started a, a blog, a retirement blog, because of that kind of the effect of uh, us visiting her. So every couple of days, she'll add a new thing, and she just wants to say, okay, you guys saw my day one, I'm gonna take it from here, you know, and I'm gonna take, show the rest of, of my retirement. And our plans are also to go back for day 1,000 or day 10,000 and, and see how the people are, are doing as well. The environment of advertising is, is changed, you know, from it used to always be here and out. You know, I, we, we have something to say, we're going to put it out. We're, and that's, that's our job. It's, a one, it's, it's one direction, you know. And obviously today, that is a much more interactive direction. For us, this is just step one. I think day one will continue and there'll be different versions of that. And we hope to have that be a, that almost equals retirement. That's a version of retirement. That's just something that, that can be there and it can grow in different forms and become a national holiday almost. But the great thing about advertising or, or any kind of communication really is, can this one thing you do last longer? You know, can that one rock that you, that goes into the pond, how, how long can those ripples go on? How, how long can it affect somebody, you know?